Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. So today I am going to show you how to install Lighting Mod. Um, I used Sunblind uh, by Surf to Haze and I know there's different ones that you can use. So I'm going to show you how to install this in this video. So if you want to know how to learn how to install it, keep watching. <music> All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys what my game looks like right now um, without the mod in and without a G shade on so that you can get just because just in case you don't have my G shade um, and you have somebody else's G shade, you can see what it will look like without it. So this is what my world looks like right now, as you can see. Now, it looks better because I have the realistic clouds, which they did recommend um, as well. Um, so it's all linked on that um, some lines like you know website or whatever but yeah they also recommend getting the realistic clouds and also the into the light by Lothrin Ho I think that's how you say it um but yeah so I don't have um some blind in my game currently all I have is the realistic clouds and this is what it looks like with the realistic clouds as well as my g-shade now I'm going to show you how it looks without my g-shade okay so this is what my world looks like without G shade on. It still looks pretty good, but this is what the sky and stuff will look like if you don't have G shade um, with the realistic clouds. And now this is what I'm also in build mode. So this is what it will look like if it was at nighttime with just the realistic clouds and no G shade or anything. Um, this will be morning again without no lightning mod or G shade. And then this is the afternoon. And then we have night or evening and then at night. So now I'm going to show you guys how to add the lighting mod in so we can have a different um, look. Okay, so underneath the description box will be a link so that you guys can go ahead and follow along to this tutorial. But you're gonna be you're gonna be redirected to this page, which is where you're gonna go ahead and download um, Sunblind. Now there's different ones um, that you can download. Um, they're different like lightning rods and stuff, so you don't have to get this one. But this is the one I'm going to be showing you guys today. So, um, yeah, so make sure you go ahead and read this. Um, they give you some pictures on how it would look, but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead. It's going to be a download button. You're going to go ahead and download that and you're going to come to this page. It's going to say, you thank you for downloading and it's going to automatically start downloading. Um, I also recommend you go ahead and get the clouds mod so that the clouds can look like mine as well as the into the light. And yeah, that's basically all you're going to really need. Now there are instructions down here, but I'm going to be giving you guys a video because it's way simpler than um, it makes it seems. It's very, very easy. Anybody can do it. So what you're going to do now is um, you're going to go down to your downloads. You're going to have one download open, which is going to be your software haze file. You're going to double tap that and open it. And then um, you're going to open it with any like, like raw extension that you have. Um, I use... What is this one? The zip one, I think this one is. What is this one? Hold on. Yeah, I use WinRaw, so you can use anyone. I think it's like 7-Zip or something like that. You can use that as well. Anything just to unzip the folder. So um, actually, after you double tap it, you're going to go ahead and double tap the Sunblinds folder. And then we're going to put this to the side and move on to our game. So wherever your game is installed, you're going to go to that. Um, You can also go to the um tab where it says this PC. You can double click that folder and go to program files. You're going to go down to it says EA games and then the Sims 4. And this is what we're going to need. So listen very quick, um, closely. You have a data and you have a Delta folder and you have a de Delta and a data folder for this one as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the data first. You're going to go share. You're going to go keep on clicking until you see worlds, areas, and you're going to see all of these folders. You're going to need to re-put all of these into your data folders, shared, worlds, um, areas, and all of these. Tab, you're going to go and you're going to take all of these files um, and you're going to just drag them over here. Pop is going to come over. It's going to say the destination has 15 files with the same name. That's perfectly 
um, find you're just going to press replace the files with this destination and then it says you'll need to provide um, administration to permission for this file ignore just press continue and then do this for all of them and just press continue and now those are already done so we don't need this one anymore we're going to go all the way back and we're going to do the delta now so this one is a little bit more it's not challenging or anything like that it's just um copying them into the new folders so you're gonna to go to the delta and they're all labeled so it says expansion pack one you're gonna to go to expansion pack one the same name worlds areas you're gonna drag all these files and you're just gonna do this for all of them and you're just going to copy or drag them replace the files continue so simple y'all um you're gonna go and we're gonna go ahead and do a few more so you guys can get the hang of it i'm um, gonna do expansion pack number two let's go ahead and do this one delta expansion pack two world areas drag them like this world areas once you got them just drag over here and replace these files you're just replacing the files basically um into the same order um as the ones that are already in there so now i'm going to show how you do the game pack ones the one that says like g these are the um game packs so let me show you so we got what is this one game pack number one so we would go here and look and see do they have one for game pack number one your game pack number one worlds areas you're going to drag them you're going to go to game pack number one worlds areas you're going to take them and then drop them over here and replace the files continue and that's basically how you really do it so i'm going to go ahead and do these for all of them and then i'm going to show you in game So this is what it look like with a lightning mod and no G shade. You can see that it automatically starts adding stars into the sky, as you can see back there. Like, oh my gosh! Like you can see like the little haze. Like look at the road. Okay, so if you don't have you know a G shade, like girl, let me go ahead and add my G shade on so you guys can see what that looks like. all right and this is what it will look like with g shade on like oh my freaking gosh like really like it looks so freaking good like the shine on the road and stuff like the golden type look look how it would look in the daytime wow look at this it's just it looks so nice and at night we have the freaking stars in here wow so y'all go ahead and get yourselves this mod because like for real this is amazing um if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like comment down below hope you learned how to put the lightning mod into your game and if you really enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really does help me a lot and yeah um if you haven't seen my latest latest video and you're a little friend a little bestie poo in with my channel then go ahead and watch that video because i just gave you like 30 plus of mods in that video girl go ahead and go get your um we'll cop some of those mods but yeah uh, i hope you guys learn how to put this mod in your game because it really does a lot even if you don't have g shade in your game which i know some people don't like to use g shade or reshade because it um might slow their game down if they don't have a good enough pc but this one is just minor changes to the game um files for lightning so yeah go ahead and go ahead and put this in your game um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed it bye y'all i ain't never been poor used to play sims 4 put a little wall around